I was up uh, tooling around in the mountains the other day and uh, I just decided to shoot this little video. I hadn't um, shot how to use our gear in this kind of way for a year or two, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so enjoy the video, but there are, uh, I forgot to move my microphone from my shirt pocket. Um, so as I add more gear, it gets a little more muffled, but I just try to make the best of what I could. I'll make, I'll make another one at some point, but I just want to go ahead and get this out here. So anyway, hang in there. It's not so bad. Hey, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. You know, uh, part of our, one of the main components is, of our gear is our ponchos and the accessories that go with them. And oftentimes, people think of poncho as just rain gear or whatever, but we like to look at it as, as gear for not just rain, but also for wind or snow. And most one of the mo important things is what I'm gonna show you right here tonight, today. Well, it's almost night, sun's going down. And that is that our gear is also designed to help create a microclimate around your body. So, what I can do is we do have, we do have our Osni uh, poncho liners to uh, be a liner, a hooded, insulated hooded poncho liner for, of course, obviously a poncho. <laughs> this poncho liner, uh, is very breathable, ripstop nylon or ripstop polyester cover fabrics. Uh, the insulation is ClimaShield. The standard is 3.6 ounce. We make an Osni Light that's 2.5 ounce. And you can also order the uh, more colder weather version that's 5 ounce ClimaShield. What if I need a little bit more than this? What if I need to keep the breeze a little more off or the wind or whatever? not to mention rain or whatever. Anyway, today I want to show you, this is our new um, waxed canvas poncho. I love this thing, it's so awesome. But by having my Osni on, so I'm full length insulated all the way down to uh, about my lower shin area is all insulated and closed in. So the poncho keeps the wind off, the rain off, snow off, whatever. It also helps contain heat. <laughs> so I can lay down in here. I can draw my feet up inside and I can go to sleep. I can also pull my arms inside. So I get back in here, I can lay on my back, on my stomach, on my side. So another thing that can be done with this that's pretty nice is I can be down here like this. I can lean up against this tree. It's actually pretty comfortable. A good cushion of leaves underneath me. I can pull my arms inside. Now I'm pretty well protected from the elements. I'm warm inside of here. Body heat is rising, being captured around my neck and shoulder area, the trunk of my body, and uh, sheltered from wind, rain, elements. Uh, if need be, of course, I can draw my hood down considerably. This is, this is very, very nice. I am exceptionally warm, really nice. So anyhow, that's why we call this thing PSS. You usually see that on our website. The PSS stands for Poncho Survival Shelter. Most of my videos I've shown more of uh, um, using the poncho as a hammock and then using the OC as an underquilt. I just wanted to find, well, you know, I haven't showed this for a while, so people need to be aware of the situation, be able to use it 
um, get a seated bivy or something like that. Uh, you can also, of course, snap the Osni to the poncho and turn turn the poncho into like an insulated blanket with a with the poncho as a weatherproof cover, and you could lay on a bed of leaves or whatever pine, uh, pine boughs or something like that, or on a sleeping pad or whatever you got. And this thing here could be could be a nice blanket to go on top of all that. So there were a lot of options. A heavy duty line of punches and uh, wearing the ocean underneath that set up means that I've got a tough setup that will protect my ocean. So I can just plow through the brush and all that sort of thing uh, with any of our HD ponchos and uh, and I can wear my Osni underneath it and that will help protect the Osni from really tough conditions if you get in there. So you can mix and match these things all up for whatever you need. So anyway, enjoy your time outdoors. Think about wilderness innovation for multi-purpose shelter gear. See you on the next go-round.